for being ignorant and not having proper facts, things, advances and argument that funds are not being used prudently. I want to assure the taxpayers and the people of Kenya that every journey that has been planned for the president outside the country is carefully planned and has an economic gain to the people of Kenya. And the president travels because there is a gap. We are not able to meet our development and current expenditure from what we get from the taxpayers. And therefore, the president must travel to look for investors to engage multilateral institutions to bridge the deficit. And I want to assure the people of Kenya, as we see today, these high-profile visits by the president have already started showing good signs. And it's also important that we tell the people of this country, for every visit the president has made to another country, another president or prime minister has also come to Kenya because this is reciprocal diplomacy. And as we speak today, because of anchoring the country properly in the international stage, Kenya is now the destination of choice for investors and for tourists. And coming from the COVID challenge, where our tourism sector almost came down, I want today authoritatively to inform the people of Kenya that tourism has picked up for a good turn. And as we speak today, all hotel rooms in Mombasa, in Masai Mara, have been booked up to February next year. So anybody who wants to travel to Mombasa for Christmas and you have not booked your room, you just have to go to your village and relax there with your ancestors. And we are encouraging the people of this great city of Mombasa and other cities to consider traveling up country and avail their homes here for tourists, because that is good for the country in terms of foreign exchange earnings, in terms of creating employment. So ours is just to give that assurance on behalf of those who work with the president that all you are the money that you pay will be used prudently.